I call the next part of the dinner special podcast the pressure cooker. I'm going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? I am. Awesome. Number one, you kind of answered this a little bit. Which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? Jacques Pepin, <laughs> my man. Uh, Essential Pepin is one of is probably my favorite show that he has done. Uh, I also watched uh, More Fast Food My Way and uh, Jacques and Julia when they were together. It's old and the, the resolution isn't great, but uh, those three are, are very high up there. Beyond that, Good Eats has always been my, uh, my really uh, sort of go-to. Great. Number two, what are some food blogs or websites we have to know about? Well, I have to uh, throw this out to Elena uh, Rosemond Herr of biscuits and such she's a dear friend of uh, my wife and mine and uh, she really is a really strong motivation to get the food blog started her pictures and her writing are just incredible and uh, she's an amazing cook we see each other uh, a few times a year and we always throw it down in the kitchen and her results are oh man mind-blowing cool. her biscuits are off the hook yeah <laughs> awesome at number three who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, or Facebook that make you happy? I'll, I'll even include YouTube. Sure. Um, Instagram, I follow a guy called the Creepy Chef. He is, <laughs> he's a line cook out in California. And um, it reminded me of my days, my short-lived time in, in the kitchen as a line cook. Um, and he makes some really incredible dishes. I also follow Mind of a Chef. And which is David Chang's? Um, uh, sorry, that's okay. I also follow Mind of a Chef, uh, and they put out some really cool, but like also very industrious types of food pictures. Um, Chef Steps is another one I follow a lot. Uh, they have a blog and uh, an Instagram page, and they put together really, really cool but very technology forward foods and the pictures and the the food staging that they they present is really amazing that was chef steps right yes awesome number four what is the most unusual or treasured item you have in your kitchen oh that's a tough one um probably i would have to say uh my immersion circulator that I, which I've already spoken to, um, like I said, it's just it's just really versatile, and I think anybody can use it from beginner to advanced. Even though it's not too expensive, but a more pricey piece of equipment you would use in your kitchen, I'd recommend um, if you like to cook, whether you just started or you are an expert chef, master chef, that this is probably an essential tool to have, and it's quite unusual. People are really impressed when you pull it out. Cool, number. Five, name one ingredient you used to dislike that you now love. Peas. Um, frozen peas, which I actually put in a lot of things. Uh, you can add those to a dish right at the end. And because the surface area to mass ratio is really quite large, um, they cook very fast. Uh, you can put them in a meal with uh, potatoes, with carrots, any other type of vegetable, peas and carrots, I know, kind of cliche, but uh, actually that's one thing I've really li learned to like, because peas have a subtle saltiness to them that I really enjoy. Cool. At number six, what are a few cookbooks that make your life better? I really like David Chang's Momofuku. What that does for me is really takes me outside of the traditional American uh, realm, as diverse as it is already, but it gives you real insight into some of the techniques and ingredients that uh, he uses in his kitchen in New York, or several of his kitchens in New York. He has several restaurants, and uh, really introduces me to a lot of the uh, Japanese uh, methods and ingredients. I'm a big fan of Japanese food, and... Uh, this kind of helps me refine my own style in, in that, that type of cuisine. Great. And finally, number seven, what song or album just makes you want to cook? Oh, boy. I cook a lot to Andrew Bird. He's a violinist and kind of a one-man orchestra, if you will. Uh, he has a plethora of, of music styles within his own uh, band, 
and they take you from highs to lows, fast to slow, and he really kind of picks me up in a pinch and helps me get motivated to cook. Cool. Well, congratulations, Aaron. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. (laughs) 